Well, good morning. It's been a long time since I made a video. This is kind of a pro bono job for a friend. This is an old, well, it's just a little bench type stool. In the scheme of things, at a second hand store, it'd probably be worth two or three dollars. But his dad made this. Oh, back in the 50s, he thinks. From the style of it here, I'd say late 40s, early 50s. And value-wise to him, well, a lot of sentimental value. And so he'd like to have it cleaned up. Not refinished. He wants to keep kind of the original patina, but... Uh, you know, it needs a little work to look good. So, it's got that one damage down here on the leg. There's a piece broken out. I don't know if you can tell on that or not. Here's a picture. So, the tools I'll be using this morning. The first thing is I'll be using this little brush. And I'll be going in here with some soap and water. Cleaning it off. Then I'm going to use... Uh, Howard's Restore and Finish. Then, I'll probably be using maybe a little stain. Cover up some of these bad spots. And then I'll either use this American Walnut Polyurethane Stain to uh, or I'll be using this just regular old men wax and after I get all done I'll either shine it up with this or shine it up with the beeswax I'll definitely use the beeswax on the top but I might be I'll probably use this on the wood this Howard stuff is really good stuff uh, first thing I want to do is take the top off so I don't screw it up and I've already taken the screws out and I marked the corners with an X so they go back in the right corners so I could get the right screw hole. I'm sure they're not exactly perfect. Take the screws, use the original screws taped on the bottom. So we'll set this aside and I'll get to work. I'll get some soap and water show you what that's look like in just a minute. Okay, I got my soap and water here and my little brush. And you always want to start at the bottom and work up. It's not going to be so important on this piece, but if you had big panels here, if you start at the top and the water runs down, it can stain it. So you start at the bottom and work up, and then you wipe it off as you go. And it's just real easy. It takes this to get in all the cracks. There's nothing to it. You know, I may have to use some 320 and sand some of these little paint splashes off of there. Finishes it's probably just old varnish considering when it was made. I don't know about that piece that's knocked off there. I guess it just depends on how I feel when I get to it. If I do this, I'll have to 
route a notch in here, glue a piece of wood in, and then shape it down. I just don't know whether I want to get into that or not. That yeah, white stuff isn't it, coming off with a brush. It might come off a little steel wool. Yeah, it does. So I'll probably use steel wool on it instead of uh, sandpaper. I don't want to take the finish off. Any more than I have to. So anyway, that's what it's going to look like. That's what I'm going to do. So I'll get back to you as soon as it gets done. A piece like this, you always want to clean the areas that, even though they don't show, like the bottom sides and stuff like that. It's been sitting. You know, in an attic or a garage or wherever, I don't know. And it gets kind of mildewy. And if you don't clean it all, it'll still smell. So you want to clean everything. Leave nothing untouched. Well, I think that's about it as far as cleaning it. See, all the cracks are pretty clean. There's a little bit that's not. To get it dried off real good, especially in the cracks, I'll take the air hose and run it up and down the cracks. The piece is amazingly solid. I'm not going to take it apart. It don't need to be taken apart. It just, it just doesn't wiggle. So it's, it's just really strong. Well, wow, some of that stuff is really tough to get off. All right, I'm gonna let it dry a few minutes. Then I'm gonna come over with Howard's Restore. This stuff is amazing. It works really well. I've used it uh, at a Lane Cedar chest. I used it on it. And I thought I was going to have to refinish the chest, but after using this, I didn't. I didn't want to touch it. It just looked really good. And it's, I think, good for all types of, of finishes. I'll show you what that uh, looks like. When I get to it. All right. Okay, I got the, well, I'll turn it off. Uh, the cracks were still bad. I had to go over them with uh, getting all the cracks with steel wool. Uh, after it dried, they were still dirty. Uh, I'm going to be using Minwax Golden Oak. And then all the Like these little spots like this that are white, where it's completely off. Uh, I'll be touching those up with a pen, with a coloring pen. Like this, this walnut. And uh, it works pretty well. It really darkens up the areas. You just wipe it on, just wipe it off a little bit. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'll just take a, a rag and wipe on the, the min wax. Uh, he didn't want it refinished. It needs to be scraped and all the finish taken off. But uh, of course, that wouldn't make it original. So all I'm trying to do is just restore it back to what it originally looked like. So that's where I'm at. And that's what I'm doing. 
I may take some little acid brushes to get in the, the cracks here. Not with acid, but that's just the type of brush. I'll show you. This is an acid brush. You can see there. They're just cheapies. But uh, it's good to take that and get it in the cracks and crevices. Take it like that and just, and just go down through here like this. And then you just wipe off the excess where you see more little white spots. After I got it cleaned up, the white spots really show. But uh, that's what I'll be doing. And I think I'll use the uh, water-based Rust-Oleum Poly. It's American Walnut. Should be about the same color. Okay, well I'll keep going when I get ready to put the poly on, I'll show you. Well, I got all the cracks clean with steel wool and I put uh, stain on it. It needs to be or have the finish removed, scraped. It's got a lot of old cracked. I imagine this is varnish, I'm guessing. Could be. Something different, but it sure looks like varnish. But he wants to keep it kind of original, so. And I understand that. See, it's all kind of checkered and stuff. It's really dirty on the insides. But if you want to have a nice, clean, fresh smell, you wash everything. I could test it with a little alcohol and see whether or not it's shellac. If it's shellac, why, it'll get soft. But uh, it doesn't make any difference what it is. I'm not going to strip it. So, so I'm going to let this dry a little bit and I'll probably take an air hose and run it in cracks here and blow all the additional stain out. And uh, after it dries, why, I'll be putting that polyurethane on. When I get ready to do that, why, I'll come back and turn it on so you can see what it looks like. Okay, I'll show you what it looks like to blow it out. Just take your air hose, put a rag underneath it to catch it. Just wipe off the excess. And boy, it really cleans those cracks out. If you don't, it takes forever to dry and it gets sticky and tacky. And you don't want that. Turn that up on the edge. You just keep going around until it's done. I just hold my hand. catches it. I think I've got all the other sides. As you can see, it didn't take stain real well. <laughs> but anyway, we'll keep working on it here, see if we can get the color right. Well, I've been brushing 
poly on the cracks and then using a little cloth then to wipe it. And I think it looks better. It's covering up a lot of those bad marks. Still there's some that show. But then that's the patina I guess. I want to go back over, make sure I don't have any little spots where it's poly is collected. Kind of brush out some of these or wipe out some of these cracks. But I think it's going to look pretty good. It's not been refinished. That wasn't the point. He doesn't want it refinished. He just once it cleaned up and brought back to life. And that's what I tried to do. I think what I'm going to do is let this dry for a couple days. Then I'll take my restore and uh, that will really help smooth the finish out. So, I'm going to let her dry. I think it looks a lot better. Well, it's time to bring this cushion back to life. I'll be using uh, beeswax. I'm going to test a little spot first. Make sure it doesn't do anything I don't want it to do. Well, I don't know. It really darkened it. I think I'll let that dry before I get too excited about putting a lot on there. I'm really surprised it, because I'm sure he didn't want it black. We'll see if it, when it dries, if it's still this dark. If it is, I'm not going to put it on there. I'll let him deal with it. We'll just let that dry for a day or two. See what happens. Yeah, we'll just let that dry. I'm going to let it dry. And then uh, I'll get back to you in a couple of days when uh, I put the restore on. For me, it'll be 48 hours. For you, it's going to be just... Well, here we are, 24 hours later, and it's pretty dry. And it lo looks pretty good. However, you can see the, the stain covered pretty well. The poly did a nice job covering most of the light spots. There's a few that are left few things like this but you know he's looking at that as patina and what I'm going to do now is put Howard's restore finish on there and it will smooth all that out and make it look like a new baby's bottom I don't know if you can see how the old finish underneath is kind of crackled and this sort of thing. Well this will pretty much take it out. You just kind of wipe it on there. And it smooths it out to where it looks pretty good. So you just use a little cloth like that and the restore and it'll make it look pretty nice there'll still be patina there it's not going to take it all away but uh, it'll make it look a little better than what it is 
So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's just a matter of wiping it on and wiping it off. And when I get all done, we'll come back and we'll look at it again. Okay. Well, that didn't take long. I'd say about 20 minutes or so. So now I've got about uh, two hours in this project, is all. We'll let this dry. It's really pretty dry already. It dries very rapidly. You could put it on with a brush, a foam brush, I suppose. But this being with all these beatings, with all this beating, well, I needed to get down in the cracks better. So I used a rag. But uh, it looks uh, like a new penny. Yet, and again, I know you can't see it, but the patina of the old finish is still there. So, anyway, I'll put the top back on. Uh, I was going to take the top and put uh, beeswax on it. I tested an area on the bottom side, though it wouldn't show, and it darkened it, made it really dark. Let me show you. You can see how dark it is right there. And where it's supposed to be light like this is, is now dark. So uh, I'm not going to do that. I'll leave that for him to, to do something with if he really thinks it's necessary. But it's not for me to change the looks of it that much. So uh, anyway, my last little thing is it, it really shines. I don't think he wants it quite this shiny. So I'll take this beeswax and uh, lightly go over it with uh, steel wool, 4 out steel, steel wool, and that'll take a little of the shine off. Make it not look like it's been uh, refinished. So anyway, that's the project, and that's what I did. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Maybe learned a little. Learned a little bit about uh, Howard's Restore Finish. I've used it uh, on about three different projects, and I was well pleased with all three. Now, Howard's, if you're listening, you could send me a new bottle or a new can. <laughs> Otherwise, they're not paying me to do this. They should, though, but they're not. All right, thanks again for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Keep that algorithm working for me. We're getting close to actually 600 subscribers. It would be nice if you guys would share, subscribe, you know, help me out a little bit. I'm not monetized, don't intend to monetize ever, but it's just always rewarding to have people... Uh, See, or to see people uh, enjoying my videos. At my age, uh, the reward of monetizing is uh, not really necessary. <laughs> uh, how old am I? Well, if you know Richard Raffin, the woodturner, him and I were born in the same year. So you can look it up from there. In the meantime, you all keep your fingers out of the saw blades, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now. Well, here it is. In all this little glory. I think it looks a lot different than it did. And once again, thanks for watching. Catch you on rebound.